All right, so here we are careening toward the Republican National Convention where every hardcore Republican needs to be in order to send the party off into a whirlwind of activity and a torrent of excitement as they begin the fight to ensure Hillary Clinton does not ascend the D.C. throne. Where else would they be other than Cleveland come July? Easy. Plenty of them hiding out and cowering back home for fear they will be blamed for the volcanic nature of a party possibly being blown into the Stone Age. Fear not. Let us turn around the dial to discuss this and more. Welcome back. The syndicated national radio talker, founder of the excellent content platform EpicTimes.com, Jerry Doyle. Mr. Hey. Doyle, we have everybody. I mean, look at this. John McCain's not going to show up a lot. of. I, look, let's be honest here. They're scared of being photographed next to Donald Trump. They're photographed for not being scared, not being photographed next to Donald Trump. They don't want anything to do with this thing. It's hysterical. Yeah, it's just like uh, they don't want to be around the chaos, which Cleveland is going to rock in the Drew Carey mode from his old TV show. All it's going to take is John Belushi in the cafeteria at Animal House to yell food fight, and it's going to be on. <laughs> but what I love about these politicians, I'll use that word politely, um, is now all of a sudden they want to spend time with their constituents. They want to be in the district. They want to be meeting with the people that are important to them and find out what issues are important to them. And, you know, they don't really need me there, but I need to be back there in my district or in my state. It's the same nonsense you hear from corporate thieves who get caught and step down or politicians who step down for something they did and they go, I want to spend more time with my family. No, you don't. You just don't want to be where you are. And it's the same thing with these Ugh, I have to watch what I say about <laughs> politicians these days because now all of a sudden, yeah, I don't want to be in Cleveland. Man, I don't want to be with Trump. Man, I don't want to be Chris Christie hugging up to Barack Obama in the aftermath of Superstorm Sandy because then they might not like me. Well, it's but see, all that's about just them. It. That's just it. If there's a disaster in Cleveland, they don't want to be there for fear that they will be blamed for it. If there's not a disaster, they still are fearful that they will be blamed for it at the end of the day. They're but scared. They're a, disaster, a bunch of cowards. If there was a disaster, a real disaster, like a natural disaster in Cleveland, they'd all want to be there because then they say, look, me, ah, Johnny on the spot, I'm here to help. And if I'm not here, nothing's going to get done. But when something's getting done that they might not like, they get gone. Ah, we love excuses from politicians. Uh, let's talk about a real disaster here uh, that was started by man. Three people responsible for maintaining the safe water in Flint. Michigan. They tinkered with evidence. They tweaked the testing. They misled county and federal officials. We have the first set of charges. There's more to come. Jerry, to me, the thing that's really scary is here. We know there's going to be more arrests. There's going to be a deeper investigation. But what's happening in Flint may be happening in dozens of major and mid-level cities across America any day now. I think this is the bad news, feel-good story uh, of the week so far. The bad news is uh, the lead in the water that people have been living with for two years. Uh, your kid's well hydrated. Sorry, he's growing a tail. I mean, you got developmental disability. You got all kinds of problems with these people, and the problem's not solved yet. But the good news is three people are brought up on criminal charges. Maybe it'll be five. Maybe it'll be ten. But we need to perp walk these people. We need to parade them in public. We need to shame them. And we need to show them the consequences of what their behaviors were or what they did or shouldn't have done and didn't do. And that message needs to go from the local level to the state level to the federal level and say there are consequences. You will be held accountable. And if you did something wrong, you're going to go to jail. And the same stuff needs to be happening with the banker gangsters on Wall Street. They pay a $5 billion dollar fine and people go oh five billion dollars that's a lot of money not when you stole 20 if you said to me hey jerry i'm um, the judge in this case you stole 20 billion dollars the court renders a five billion dollar fine on you boom i'm net 15 i'm not crying and guess what some of it's tax deductible in the fine that I pay. You start locking people up in every level of government and boardrooms across this country and actually have them pay for the crimes that they committed or the deeds that they did or didn't do, and you're going to then send a message to the other people, I better not go down that road, and maybe I just better do my job. Well, you better be careful. We're gonna, I mean, Sanders is going to be on the phone to you any minute now. Because, you know, but I, I got to tell you huge. something. Huge. But I got to tell you, you're exactly right. Start perp-walking these guys. Put a little shame Absolutely. in their face right now, every now and then. Give them the Bernie Madoff treatment, and then let's see what happens. Uh, what's yep. going to happen next is you got to read more about this and a whole lot more. Go to epictimes.com excellent content platform. A lot of great writers there. And that, of course, is where you'll find Jerry Doyle and a whole lot more. Mr. Doyle, have a great week, my friend. We'll talk to you real you soon. Too. All right, Thanks, take Ed. care. It's frightening if you think about it. A little perp walk might be just what they need. Rock on, true believers. Here's what you need. A little break. We're back tomorrow right here. Stay with us because we'll see you tomorrow on the Hardline.